Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor, Ethico. Handling multiple compliance cases can often feel like navigating a complex labyrinth. Ethico introduces simplicity and intelligence into this chaos with our custom workflow automation. By automatically routing cases based on your unique criteria, we turn the maze into a clear path forward. Envision a compliance process that's not just effective, but also intuitive and adaptable to your needs. It's time to redefine efficiency in your workplace. Embark on this journey of transformation at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, 2023, the year in compliance, to discover a world of seamless compliance management. The Daily Compliance News for February 22, 2024, the Stay Out of the Kitchen edition. And we begin with that story from the BBC and it's about a grocer, head of a grocery chain in Australia, who uh, his company had been accused of price gouging. Well, he went on an interview uh, this week and was asked a question uh, about this, and he got so incensed, he got up and walked out of the interview. Well, um, when you... No, you're going to be asked a question about alleged price gouging tactics. Um, and you walk out of the interview after you're asked about it. It is a seriously not good. You can't take the heat. Obviously, stay out of the kitchen. Don't I mean, get out of the kitchen, but don't even get in the kitchen. Stay out of the kitchen. Well, it was a, such a disaster that the uh, grocery cho- uh, chain boss quit. Um, because of the disastrous nature of the interview. Uh, Next up from the Financial Times. uh, Oh, and that story came to us from the BBC, if I didn't say that. Next up from the Financial Times. Boeing has fired the head of the 737 MAX business unit after the Alaska Airlines door panel blowout. It's um, Ed Clark is leaving the company um, with uh, being ousted over the incident which occurred in early January. The uh, US FAA temporarily grounded uh, 737 MAX aircraft, but uh, has now released that. So um, more bad news for Boeing. They just can't seem to get it straight or do it right. Next up from Nikkei Asia, who I believe is a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, Li Liang, Former chairman of the Bank of China has been charged with accepting bribes and illegal, legally granting loans, joining a growing list of financial veterans who have fallen from grace in Beijing's anti-corruption crackdown. Prosecutors accuse him of taking huge bribes from individuals or businesses in exchange for promotion and financing of favors at uh, the Bank of China and the Export-Import Bank of China, or uh, the China XM Bank. So more trouble in China. And final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, David Smagala and Dave Michaels reporting that investment advisor uh, Van Eck Associates agreed to pay $1.5 million to settle claims the firm failed to revo- reveal the role of a social media influencer in a campaign. This is one of the first times I can recall where a company used a social media influencer, did not reveal the name of that influencer, and got into trouble on the public market side. So if you're using a social media influencer, that's fine, but you need to disclose it to the investing public. As I mentioned in the opening of this new podcast series, Compliance Tip of the Day, we are sponsored this month by Ethico. Are you struggling to close cases? Well, Ethico is here for you. Take advantage of their innovative approach to empathetic or empathic issue intake, streamline case management, and enterprise-wide disclosures. Learn more about how you can crowdsource risk management at scale at ethico.com backslash CPN. 
The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.